were pretty aggressive with how we could adapt to COVID. So we had to add online ordering, which we had never done. We added delivery. Uh, we had to create this like kind of curbside pickup effect. Uh, so we, we were kind of quick to just try to adapt and, and figure out how we can make things better, how we can make everyone feel safe, both inside the building with our staff and outside with our guests. I mean, the, the inside dining room turned into a, to a storage warehouse for all the paper products and everything we were running through every single day. Um, we had to space out, you know, the line. We added a tent to cover the parking lot and added maybe 20 tables all spread out. So it was really, it was just a challenge of, of how to adapt and, and, uh, and make everything safe, both for the customers and, and for our employees. Everybody was kind of lost and, and we wanted to find a way to, uh, to kind of help everyone find some sort of normalcy. Um, and in that we created FoFest, which was a, uh, it was a drive-through, no contact, uh, free food giveaway. Uh, we were able to do, I think, about 8,000 meals. I think it was 15 events. Um, and that was great. It was a morale booster for the staff. It was a morale booster for the community. Um, it was a lot of work, but, you know, we brought a lot of people together. The Hawks for the Cause people came together to help out. A lot of the restaurants in town helped out. So it was, it was kind of a, a beautiful thing in, in such a time that that we didn't know what was going on or if we would even ever open again. We also were able to employ some musicians that hadn't seen work in a couple months and just to kind of bring some like brightness to a pretty dark time and and it was just a fun time and we were able to feed a ton of people and the community was super stoked about it and so were we. Yeah, Hawks for the Cause is awesome. Uh, we've been doing it uh, pretty much since we started Blue Oak which was about eight years ago. Uh, we've been doing it ever since, and it's always a ton of fun. We raise a bunch of money uh, for pedi pediatric brain cancer outreach. Um, you know, it's a great event, live music. Uh, I think every year they're kind of growing, and I think the last couple years it's been well over a million dollars, so it's an awesome event. What is your favorite blue oak meal? Mm. Probably a two meat ribs and wings with some crackling. As a little app. Uh, I would, yeah, I would expand on that. If, and if I had a couple friends with us, I'd get an all meats, all sides, which is like a tasting of everything. It sounds exactly like it is. And get some cracklings in there, uh, maybe some banana pudding for dessert, and a cold beer. Yeah, key lime pie and a cold beer. Sounds pretty good.